A significant part of my childhood was spent in my own little world, in the backyard. I could spend hours in that smell of dirt and life, in an island in my mind, wholly removed from the mundane. A wall of green reached to the heavens and held my senses captive with serenity and mystery. From thence would come flying my daydreams. Under the trampoline I would escape from the heat of the day and from monsters. They were too tall to bend down and see me, but I could still see their feet as they passed. The soft moss let off a damp coolness, and I would be pulled to lay down for a few minutes, pondering the sky from below. Actually, jumping on the trampoline was fun too, of course. It took sheer will, but I learned how to jump off the trampoline. Finally, the threat of pirates closing in after me forced me to stop hesitating. The impact was jarring, but I had escaped. I also liked to collect still living leaves, not just the ones that had fallen to the ground, but only one particular oak tree had the branches low enough. Still, I was usually too short to get any. The wood pile was a dark place with many secrets. I rarely ventured to that realm. Who knew what slimy creatures awaited in those deep crevices? As a treasure hunter, only the best crystals would do. I would scavenge for the ones that gleamed the brightest and travel many a day to deposit them in my collection. The fairies lived in my world with me too, but the poor things needed a place to keep dry when it rained, so I built them houses. The ground in a tree's crevice would be carefully cleared. Then moss would be transported from another part of the world for a soft carpet. Sometimes it would even take root and start growing there where it was transplanted. Then sticks would make sturdy foundations for the roof, and a piece of bark would be placed on top. The precious stones I had collected would be used for furniture. Fairies don't like eating on the floor. Acorn caps were the perfect size for their bowls, and they would eat whatever was available that season. I would roll up the softest leaves for their pillows and place them ready on their beds. And finally, with a bit more cover from the rain, they were ready to move in. Of course, my world was not always the safest. I had to watch for poisonous spiders, hazards for bare feet, and evil vines. But many an adventure awaited me each day as I ran outside to the place where my daydreams were born.